There's renewed hope today that an Idaho soldier captured nearly four years ago to the day in eastern Afghanistan may one day return to U.S. soil. An Afghan Taliban spokesman has said that they would like to see five senior operatives, Taliban operatives, released in exchange for Sergeant Bo Bergdahl from Haley. The Taliban did put some additional stipulations on Bo's release, saying first uh, has to be the release of the detainees, and after that, the Taliban wants to build bridges of confidence between themselves and the United States. The news of a possible prisoner swap has led to refreshed optimism for members of the Bergdahl family. Colonel Tim Arsano with Idaho National Guard, who's been acting as a media liaison for the family, says both parents say they are aware of the possibility of an exchange, and they're encouraged by it. The family will also be speaking at an event to honor their son. That's coming up this Saturday in Haley. Jay Michaels now has more from Bergdahl's hometown. Bo is one that uh, at this point in time we do know, you know, at least approximately where he is. They know that who's, who is holding him and negotiations need to continue to bring him home, whatever it takes. Bring Bo back. It's been a fervent wish and prayer for countless Idaho residents, including Bo's parents, Bob and Janie Bergdahl. The Haley native disappeared from his post in Afghanistan June 30th, 2009. But many Idahoans have continued to fight for his safe return. A community celebration is scheduled to keep that hope alive. It will begin with a motorcycle ride starting north of Twin Falls at Flying J at 11 a.m. Saturday. And the real special part of this is Bob Bergdahl is going to be a part of this, and he's going to be the lead rider in The Missing Man his son um, in this motorcycle ride and we will escort him on up into Haley. The ride will end at Hot Porter Park in Haley. That's when the remembrance will begin. Bo's parents Bob and Jenny Bergdahl will speak briefly to everyone who's gathered. It's a speech community members are excited about. Well, we'd like to hear what Bob and Jenny have to say. We think it's a great thing for them to be here in our community and we embrace them with open arms and we just want to let them know that we care about them. So uh, scheduled right now, Bo's parents, Bob and Janie, will address attendees at 2 o'clock. And then this afternoon, after all of this sort of caught wind, the Idaho Congressional Delegation offered a joint statement on today's development. They said, our thoughts and prayers continue to be with Bo Bergdahl and his family. His safe return has always been of the utmost importance to us, and his well-being is something we raise with senior administration officials whenever possible. We're following recent potential developments about him very closely.